Hey, you want to walk with me to the garden? Thought I'd just kind of walk out here and look around a little bit and pick some more peppers and uh, save some more seeds. But the first thing I really wanted y'all to see was this single Cherokee tan pumpkin vine. And it is knocking over the trellis. It is getting so heavy. So I'm going to have to re-support it a little bit better than what I have. So I thought those steel rods would be enough. Obviously not. So let's lift this thing up some. I'll uh, have to redig my, my metal rods there, won't I? And look at all the little pumpkins. Everywhere. And this is one vine. There's little babies. Everywhere. This has been one prolific vine. They're just everywhere and growing. And this vine is just going, 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 and it's so beautiful. I've decided to let it go off trellis and it is escaping everywhere. It is putting off lots of pumpkins. And so that is an awesome thing. We'll be able to get a lot of seeds out to folks. So I got the Cherokee tan back supported. She's massive. That is one vine, y'all. One vine. Got some squash vines going and they're blooming. And I think this is spaghetti squash. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. <laughs> and these are gonna be lemon squash. Got a couple on this one plant over here that's a little bit older than those. see and then my other round of purple whole peas are really doing good these peas actually look healthier thicker so that that'll be enough uh, for eating a meal or two and that's that's all I was doing was just being like nitrogen fixer and in this one area and uh, putting some peas The loofah keeps showing out too. She just makes her come back. You think she's gonna die, and then bam. <laughs> she starts putting off like crazy. Still got some melons coming on. And they're by this dead cucumber, but I'm leaving the cucumber vine because I don't want to disturb the roots on these melons since they're doing okay. I may uh, cut the cucumber back some to keep it from sucking up the energy that the melons need. But for now, it's like it is. The garden's pretty bare, but there are some things coming. Peppers coming on out here. Lots of little blossoms and things. Got some kale coming up. 
a few collards. I'm going to plant more collards, though. Some of them didn't come up. Some of them, the cat or the dog wall are gone. And even more peppers. So, as of right now, it's just too hot. But the, the rows will be filled with cabbages and things. I did try planting some cabbage seeds earlier, but it is just so hot. Um, and we've not had any rain. So they did not germinate. That's okay. I didn't plant a whole lot because I knew that was a possibility. Because this is Mississippi. But right here in this spot, I'm going to put some red cabbages. Because I only need a couple, or two or three of those. And then I'll fill in some bare spaces. And out in the new garden, I'll probably put some cabbages too. And I've got a couple tomato plants to put out there. Just waiting because it is so hot and there's no rain. Had to resupport that pepper plant that I just noticed was falling over. I didn't even see it when I was video clipping. Just happened to see it. But most of the peppers are doing well. They need a drink of water. So that's where the garden's at right now. And uh, there'll be updates coming this fall as it progresses. Thanks for watching.